is your coaching session. We're going to be playing on some Skid Row hardpoint, all right? Oh. Let's lock in and see what we can work with. Okay, starting off, um, oh, let's see what you're going through. So you're actually in game trust. I'm actually also going to test your comms oh, and see kind of how that was, how that's no, working. I don't, I don't talk. You don't come? Okay, I'm all right with that. I'm the same, no worries. No, Start off, going to use the rival. Yeah, I just today you, you won't feeling it in this game. <laughs> uh, I was going literally for the gameplay, so I didn't. Oh, okay, okay. Doing it. Okay, fair enough. So we just had a mechanic session, and I I think you actually had some good mechanics. Okay, so I'm interested to see the problems that we we kind of went through in terms of your mechanics and your gameplay that got me like the kills and stuff. I want to see if they transfer over to the vod session. Okay, so I want you to pick up on it as well. That's why I like do the mechanics first, so you can also see the same things. Straight away, mini map awareness. This is good. You notice okay. it's on your left, so you go through. Great kill. I'm happy with that. You go on the side here. This is perfect. There's a guy behind you. You can just tell that John's already got some good mechanics. This was great. One big kill. The guy's here. Nice drop shot. Fantastic play. Big two piece. I'm a big fan. Okay. Starting off really, really positive. Going forward, 40 seconds left. What's the play here? You got to stun and a nade. We got to look at the minimap and think where they're going to be coming from. So you're obviously a diamond player. So I want to see what gets you to that next level. What we can do to get you to Crimson. Okay. So let's go through and see what's happening. One small detail here. It's going to be the equipment usage. I think GG. what your opponent did right there was a good use of equipment. Although you have tack mask on, which is interesting. I mean, you know EOD, so you must hate the stuns. Fair enough. Right now, we're just like, Maybe. why is your teammate already saying GG? They're tweaking. Because we haven't rotated. Oh, I hate people like that, honestly. It pisses me off. But yeah, right now, you know your team's on the left here. So just a small detail. Is you expecting them to be coming from this middle alley, okay? Well, yeah. I am anyways. Right now, I know they're coming up the stairs. I'm expecting them to come through here. Just a really small detail, but if you've got your stun and nade right now, they can't have a trophy this early on. Just chuck your stun and nade. Just make them like, at least like make them work for this kill, okay? So right now I would say chuck a stun and nade. Just make them really work for it. 20 seconds left. You know they're coming through the right here. You can be holding it. And I think what you can see there is you can probably have um, got that kill without your teammate dying there. But again, I'm very happy with the way you're playing. I think you're playing really positive right now. That's a bit unlucky, okay? Go through again. Equipment could have saved you, but overall, P1, really good stuff. John, you're doing everything perfectly. You switch to an AR. That is so important. Switching to an AR here is exactly what you want to do. Just to remind the chat why, I want you to explain. Why did you switch to an AR here, John? Like, what was your uh, reasoning? It's really long gunfights for this fight. And yeah. if they have top P2, there's no way I'm, we're yeah. ever going to get it. I don't 100%. trust my people to fry. Up uh, I'm the exact same thing, John. It's like talking in the mirror right now. So P2, and then the only time a sub's useful is if you're if you've got the control and you're kind of holding lanes and you're kind of cutting people up for these angles it can be good but overall i would always always prefer an ar on this hill so now let's look at the mini map and what's going to happen is things are going to be going fast okay in terms of where they're pushing from the way the spawns are flipped things are going to be going really really fast so if we look at the mini map we have two teammates sitting on the hill so just to make graphics easier we're going to make you the blue team okay yeah. so you're going to be standing over there you're going to be watching garage you have your two teammates on the hill so what you need to be doing right now is looking at the minimap and making decisions based on the team's positions and the red dots we see. So right now you look at the red dot. So you look at your blue teammate. He's going to be sitting ticket. So far, this is your setup. We know that you spawned around there. So likelihood is they're going to be pushing through this area here. We don't know exactly, but I'm going to assume they're going to come through tickets. Okay. That's kind of my assumption right now. We don't know exactly. We just assume based on the minimap, we'll adjust our assumption. Let's go through. You still got your equipment. So, so far the whole game, you haven't used one piece of equipment, okay? Yeah, so that's I'm what I want to work on. That's what I want to work on. Your teammate kills one ticket. You're going to turn around and watch behind you. This is why the equipment will save you. Right now is a perfect example. I think right now you need to be thinking, okay, I need to either watch garage or tunnel. For me, this spot is just not a good spot to be in. Yeah. So now, if you're going to sit and watch garage... Fair enough. You can watch that. You can at least ping to your teammates. Now, in your defense, your teammate, I think, should be watching Tunnel in your defense. But they are not. So it's not about what they should be doing. It's about what is happening. You can see the minimap right now. They, I don't know what they're doing, but they're not watching Tunnel. You have two areas to watch. What you should be doing is if you're going to watch this area, not a problem. But you cannot ignore your flank. So, like I always say, John, you know the drill. Turn around. Chuck a stun right there. Okay, chuck a stun, bounce it on the wall. Then watch garage. Turn around, chuck a nade, bounce it on the wall. Use your equipment to watch both. Right now, the problem we have is you're waiting too long. And now look, you jump across. Even if you did this, imagine you did this instead. Okay, let's turn around. Imagine if you stunned that wall there. 
And instead of jumping and, and mantling, if you stun that wall and stun the head glitch, you might have got away with that. Okay? Yeah. Being very particular, but there's a reason. We cannot let them push through tunnel there. This heals a massive money heal. Now, is your teammates... Are they useless? Absolutely. But again, we don't care about them. I'm, I'm coaching you, not your team. Okay? So right now, now you guys are in a bit of a compact setup. You get the first kill. Perfect. You're going to go through. Now, this is where I'm thinking, right, what is a scenario? So... Right now, you guys got away with it. You guys got a few kills. You got away with it. Your teammates on the hill, they're kind of watching around. They're doing this is their setup around. They're kind of just watching over. You are standing here. Your teammate is in tunnel. Pros and cons. Pros, there's clear vision of sight. You know they have to be pushing through this area here, this little, this little rectangle here. This cube is where they have to push through, okay? That's fine. What we can do is you can stop them. You have a sight where you can stop them from coming through. For me, the biggest problem is the pinch. I know that they're going to be pushing through here. The only problem I have is you don't have any garage control and you don't have any ticket control. And if they wanted to, they could send someone on the pinch and they've got you guys kind of trapped in. That's the only problem, okay? Yeah. So let's see how this one plays out. Again, you've not used one piece of equipment. For me, this is a huge red flag. This alone has such a compound effect. Let me explain. One, it gets rid of trophy systems for the other team. Okay, using your equipment gets rid of trophies. So it makes it, regardless if you get zero kills, it makes it better for your team. That's point one. Point two, you're going to get at least five kills in the game by stunning and aiding someone at a minimum. So every game, I think you're losing five gunfights at a minimum without using it. Second thing is you just, it's so bad to not use your equipment because you're just putting your team at a disadvantage. Right now, we've played in this picture. You clearly know they're pushing through this side and this side and garage. Chuck a stun. Chuck a nade. Make them weak. Make them back off. Make them work for it, okay? There's one. Big kill. Huge kill here. Great, great mechanics. You get one. You back away. This is perfect stuff here. You get the stun out. You get the pistol out. You fry him. Good stuff. That's two down. Good stuff right there. Your team are going in front of you. Honestly, right now, I'm chucking a stun. I'm watching the flank. I'm very worried about your flank right now. Guess what? You have a trophy system. Right yeah. now, this is really bad because you're a really good player, but this cannot be like, this is not acceptable to have no equipment in this level, okay? If you want to get to the next level, that is step number one. Right now, if you're the red team, if you're sitting in garage, what are you doing right now? You're, or maybe not you, because I mean, seeing your equipment, but what you should be doing is spamming nades over, okay? You should be spamming nades over. So what you should be doing to counter that is using a trophy system. Does that make yeah. sense? So why, like right now, like you 1 million percent should chuck a trophy down, okay? Yeah. 20 seconds. You get killed from... There you go. Now, why did you die there? Because you were weak. Why were you weak? Because you didn't chuck a trophy. Okay? So, I think it's, it's fairly kind of obvious your um, problems right now in that regard. But that's fine. Going through. I'm happy with this. This is fine. You see one there. Let's see what you do here. Can you still hear me, by the way? Yeah, I hear you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. I don't believe you. No. I'm okay with this. I think it's a little bit risky just generally the way you approached it. But I mean, I you won the gunfight. That's okay. You got good gun skill overall. You got good gun skill. For me, I don't believe it. Me, me personally, I am okay without pushing the hill here. Like for me, I'm just want to spawn here. This is how I want to break this hill. I want to basically have top mid control. Where is it? I want somebody to go through top mid. So I want my teammate to kind of pinch through top mid. Like this, like they go through there. And I want to be in the stairs, right? Oh, where am I? What two am I? There you go. Sorry, here. I want my teammate to be coming through here. And I want to be over there, right? I yeah. want to funnel my opponents. I want my opponents to be here. Where's the, where's the pen? I want my opponents to be on this side of the map. On the left side of the map, okay? That's what I want. So I actually want this side of the map here. So if I'm the red team right now, Let's change it. Let's be red. Let's give them blue. They actually have the P2 scrap time. Your teammates all coming through tunnel. Like your teammates are kind of coming through here, right? So you're yeah. you're the red team right now. Your teammates coming through here. You are actually the last person here. You kill one guy here. For me, the bigger picture isn't the hill right now. You have so much time left in the hill. Your biggest picture is getting the first wave of kills and keeping them trapped there. For me, it's going to be mid control, okay? So I think as long as you have this back alley, you're in a good spot. So I would say get this first kill. And just be a bit careful. I feel like you got caught out a little bit. And once he kills you, now it's a bit scary. Yeah. Because now your teammate dies. You're going through top. And you can see, the good thing is, this guy didn't push out. If he pushed out, maybe the spawns get flipped. Because he didn't push out, you still spawn there. So what that tells me is, although you died, 
your kill was more valuable than his kill. Do you know why? Because you died and spawned here. The guy that you killed probably spawns back there. So that's okay what you did. That's fine. Now, how do you approach this? That's the big problem. Trophy. Let's give John a round of applause. He uses trophy system. Let's go, John. You're well, going through. <laughs> Three of you. This is my problem. I like these spawns. They're great spawns. The problem you have is this, though. If you have three people in this back alley watching this one way, it's very, very, very easy for the opponent to pinch you for one. And also, they can watch this so easy. They can have someone there. They can have someone there. They, they don't really need to do anything like this. This is actually an easy hold for them. So let's see how you approach this. Um, could I bring something up for... Um, absolutely, absolutely. Back to the first kill that I got and then died. Absolutely. I was actually really mad about this because if you, if you go back more... A little bit more, like when I see this guy. Yeah, I, you saw I him. See that that wasn't the guy. Suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's a good point. So really I good point. I knew that there was another person there, no. and I charged up and killed myself anyway. So that is an, got this guy in the white. I should that's have an excellent, that. excellent point. The fact that you recognize a skin is great value. I love that because I do the same thing. Like you said right there, I'm okay with you backing off right now, just playing your life a little bit. Because like you said. In this level against diamond players, they can right now this guy's gonna chow you because his teammate probably called him weak. You know what I mean? That people call that at this level, they're gonna chow you. So I actually agree with what you said there, hundred percent. You play your life there, you hold the angle. However, it wasn't that big of a deal because you spawned right here, so it wasn't the end of the world. But I hundred percent agree. Now let's see what you do going forward. So good point by the way. I like the way you brought that up. You go through your one shot. They might have a trophy in the hill right now. Okay, all three of you have piece of equipment. If you want to break this hill right now. All you need to do is three of you chuck your chuck your equipment over. At least break one of the trophies and make it a little bit harder gonna, for you for them. You're gonna okay? be proud of me in a second. Yeah, oh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> now look at this. Your trophies are protecting you. The reason I mention this is because look how important they are. You need to be using them more. There you go. You stop their trophies. Exactly what you want to see there. Perfect. Now this is a little bit of a map awareness issue. Right now. It's easy when we pause it, but just logically, your teammates pinch in from there. You need to prioritize this guy right here. I assume you die here. I'm very, very confident yeah. you die here. Yeah. The reason why is, again, just a priority issue. Your teammate is pinching there. If you're right now, you're better off playing for this kill. Worst case scenario, your teammate dies, right? Worst case. At least you're in a 1v1. But what happens now is because you're watching the left, think about it. Your teammate actually wins that gunfight. If you watch this area here, you actually get that kill. That is huge. Look what happens. You're a little bit too late there. But you see my thought process there of kind of holding your gunfight? That was huge right there. Unlucky, but yeah, kind of a big play. You end up dying, and look where you spawn. Other side of the map. This one gunfight, if you, bro, if you just preem this for me, John. John, if you preem the right here, look how crazy this is. If you preem there and got the kill, you have spawns for the new hill. Instead, look where you spawn. Other side of the map. You were starting off here. This is my point though. When you were back alley and you got these kills, I was okay with you backing off and sitting apartments and just holding the spawns, helping your teammates. Now you were standing there, you die and you spawned here. That is crazy. Just from one death, you spawn other side of the map here. That is a problem. Let's go forward and see what you're going to do here. They have top mid control. You're by yourself, by the way. 20 seconds if you're by yourself. Let's see how you approach this. Okay, you get the first kill. They, they're going to expect you here. Let's see what you do. They're gonna expect you there. One's in the back on me, Zach. I mean, I honestly, I think they play that poor, to be honest. I think when you stood right here, I think he should have killed you. Like if that was me, I'm I wouldn't do this, but most people, I would be prone on the stairs and like stair glitching you, expecting you to come from top middle. Okay. It's a little bit risky, but you made it work. You got a two-piece fair play. Good stuff from you. Okay, good stuff from you. Now you're going forward. I see what you do here. I like this. You're getting the spawns perfect. This is a good play right now. It's a good play. You see one bottom? The angle you're taking right now is just the wrong angle. Right now, you shouldn't be going through garage regardless. If you get the kill or not, garage isn't the play here. You need to be going top apartment because what you need to be doing, right, is this. This is so important. Look at this for me. Look at this for me. Look at the angle you're holding right now. You can only see... Let me just get Skid Red back just so you can see what I'm talking about. From this angle... Let's just take a 1v1. Forget everything else. From this angle, you can only see if they push out. Is that right? Like from here, you can see basically the stairs and if they push out, yeah? Yeah. By that point, if anyone that's decent at this point, they're going to be prepared for the gunfight, which is kind of what you saw oh. now. They're prepared for the gunfight, right? 
what you should have done is gone back apartments, stood on this head glitch, because two things. One, you can see from a deeper angle. So you can see people as they enter the door. So what you could do is you could actually catch them in the sprint and kill them. Second of all, you have more cover. Third of all, you can watch top, you can watch the right, and you can, you just have so much more cover right there. So right there was a good idea, but you just, you have to go to the back there. Because I have another question. Once you get this kill, right? Let's say you get this kill, and you're going across to the hill. This is so risky, you going across playground. It's so risky, right? I would rather you go top, get the first kill, and go through the back stairs, okay? So when you're yeah. standing here, it's just about the decision making of, this may be a second quicker, it's just not worth it. This is a better play. Even if you got that kill, I would have said that's the better play, okay? Oh, so yeah. crazy. But you end up dying, and now look, this is how important those gunfights are. But your teammate is just so trolling. Crazy. Now look, now four of you are going through middle. Three of you are going through there. Now you're going to go through the back here. I am not a fan of this play from you at all. The reason why, again, I don't know if it works or not, but I'm going to tell you why I'm not a fan of it. You just spawned up here. Now, most of the time, a good team will have someone back apartments. Do you, is that like? Would you agree with that? Um. Or you don't. Yeah, you don't have like the steps or something like that. Right there. Yeah. Down I, I, I personally think that this is the best spot, and I feel like most people I play against, like good teams, have set up with at least one back apartments. Okay. But let's say they're not back apartments. Okay. Just for your argument, that's fine. Let's say they're on this head glitch. Wherever. I. Okay. Do you think somebody be at the back at least? Like at least one at the yeah. back. Yeah. Like, I know that this is a Lamar spot. Okay, the point is at least somebody should be at the back. You jumping out like this, for me, is just like a gun code play. Oh, and it's kind of what we so spoke about in the mechanic crazy. session. Right now, what you're hoping for, you're hoping for no one watching this. But look at this. If somebody was on any of these head glitches, I give you a 0% chance of winning them. Okay? You just jump down and you're going gun home. Because it worked in this scenario, it doesn't work. But it almost worked there. It was still a terrible play for me. Because your teammates are... Look at this spawn right now. You die there, there. first of all. So crazy. Your teammates are spawning front. So where do you think they are? For me, that tells me they're all around P4. They have about two people P4, okay? They yeah. should have at least one stairs. And then they should have one god set. This should be their setup at minimum. But what they probably have... This guy is probably over there, okay? This guy should be over there. My point is you just jumped out in middle. He has a clear shot on you. You're not helping anyone. So I think that was just a little bit of a risky play. And you can kind of see you're going through. I just think it's honestly, I, I don't see it working very often. So for me, it's just a bit of a, a tough play. Okay. Yeah. I was just, I was trying to get like a pinch. Uh, yeah, no, because I saw three absolutely. people going uh, yeah. stairs. I was like, okay, I got to find a different way to approach it. And I think I chose a bad option, but. Okay. But again, I don't think it's about what you did and your thought process. That's fine. It's about how you went about it. Oh, you didn't man, even, my point so is you didn't even shoulder crazy. this. Yeah. Right? This point here, that's my point. You right now at least shoulder this. Now it's clear. Okay. Now I go. That's my point. Look, you jumped out. Like, that's not checking anything. You know what I mean? You just jumping out into like sinking yourself in. That's not checking anything. Your actual play was okay. It actually almost worked. Like right now, if you checked it and you died to him, I would say it is what it is, right? But you didn't even check it, and that's my biggest point. Yeah. 30 seconds left right now. Okay. I think. I think right now you get an AR out. I think you get an AR out. And you start to rotate. Okay, I think you start to rotate to the new hill. Let's see what you do here. Go new, go new, everyone, go new. So you get a big two piece here, but there's a problem. I think your teammates were going to get a t uh, kind of the hill regardless. I would much prefer you back it up right now. Once you get this two piece, where do you think they're going to spawn? Um, back laundry, probably, or above me. Yeah, I think they're going to spawn here. You know where you spawned earlier? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to spawn there, okay? So what you've done is that two-piece was good, but you've given them easy access to the new hill, okay? So you need to be like, shit, I need to be running now for the new hill. This play here, as soon as you get the two-piece, it's okay. you got to turn around right now. You have to turn around right now and go new hill. You have to. Look what you're doing. You're going towards the old hill. These milliseconds are the difference. What you did right now, going through garage, is okay again. But you, I think you should, you're better off backing off there. This is okay. The fact that you made this route is okay. I, I forgive you. Because you still made the route, which is fine, okay? But the point there was you just have to rotate. I think if you had an AR, this was a better play. Because you actually had a sub, I'm going to say it was actually a good play from you. To kind of wrap around middle, go through. And now we know they're going to spawn where we said on top middle. You're going to catch them off guard. So I'm actually, you know what? Fair play. Good play from you. A little bit of trigger discipline there, but not the end of the world. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, Your mechanics yeah, are absolutely yeah. fine. Right here, I would say even pick up an MCW. Oh, look at you, John. Perfect gameplay. I love this so far. I love it.
That was actually a mistake. <laughs> no way, John, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. <laughs> no, no, it was a little right play to do there. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, you, pissed, you did it by accident. I picked it up yeah. and I switched back to my MCW nah, here. I think you were fine. Again, it's just the same point of... Yep. Where they're gonna oh, come okay. from? You got one. They're gonna come through garage right now. Okay, so you need to be watching garage quicker here. Start Nate. You got the same shit, right? Go through. Yeah. You need to be getting that kill. Unfortunate, but now look. Those kills you're getting, those deaths there, get you in a bad spot. Okay, now you're spawning back apartments. You're like, shit. What do we do? You're gonna rotate around, and now they have everything here. So although your garage play was good, I think a better play. By the way, I think that was still a good play from you. Okay, you get a nice two piece, whatever. From here. I personally think a better play would be when you spawn up here, get an AR out, okay? So get an AR out right now. Yeah. Pushing through. Maybe rotating already, but you know what? This is fine. This is a huge two piece. Rotate. I think that's a better play. Get to top second, like good top P2. What do you think about that? Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Because then you're right now, imagine right now you're top P2. What do you have? You actually have the whole of garage and the whole of tunnel, right? And your teammates have ticket. You actually have everything. They're gonna spawn now, let's over. let's assume right now you're top P2, okay? You're top P2, you're top P2, okay? They come through here. You're top P2, you probably kill them, first of all. You probably, right there, you kill that player, okay? Tunnel, yeah. tunnel, Second tunnel. of all, Moo calls out tunnel. If you're top P2 there, you're watching tunnel and you're watching garage, I think you have a lot stronger setup. And for me, that's why the decisions you make I think this is a really good gameplay to review because you're making good decisions, but I think you could have made great decisions. And that's the key difference. Those one or two decisions that I think you could have done better in those scenarios, I think can really elevate your gameplay. You're not making bad decisions, but how can we make perfect decisions? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? And that's the difference. Here because they took, I wanted to get top ticket and so <laughs> I threw my trophy and then they took it from me. So this is the pro <laughs> but this is the problem with the setup though. Like because you gave them that setup right now with that one decision, look what's happening now. You have four people flooding through air. This is not good. This is really not good. If I'm the red team, one person comes through, one pinches you, one's gonna be there. Okay. One's like top P5. One's in the hill. Honestly, this is a perfect setup for red. You're literally walking to their trap right now. You still got your side of nades, your one shot. No one's watching the flank. There you go. It's so obvious. It's actually crazy. Right now, you should be looking at the arrows. Now, your teammate has got garage. Your teammate has garage. He's now giving it up. You should be like, okay, cool. We need to play for picks here. Right now, a crimson iridescent player looks at the minimap, turns around and watches garage. This player is very, very predictable. Very predictable. You should be turning around. You know why? Because your teammates are not going to do it. You told me earlier, you don't rely on your teammates? Good. Don't rely on them. Watch your flank right now. Get that first blood, okay? Look at this. That should be quicker. You should be watching the flank, okay? You get the, he, he kills you. He kills one. He kills two. They've made the play right now. They get three. They get four. They get a four piece right now. Where do you spawn? Back all the way here. Okay? You can see how they're setting up. All because of what? One little misplay. When there was 30 seconds in the old hill, I think you should have rotated to P2 than they are. Such a small detail. Bro, look at that shot. You absolutely beamed them. Fantastic shot. The shot's not the issue. It's the other decision making, okay? I said that in the private game. You play too aggressive. Look at this play right here. What is the likelihood chance of you winning that gunfight? <laughs> Well, like 25%. Definitely less. That is trolly. No <laughs> fucking way, 25%. Chow me on Look that. Look how close I am. Well, it's not you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> close to what? Close to what? You didn't hit a bullet. I was close, though. Hold on. You were close to hitting a bullet. That's not good enough. It looks like a good chow from no, you. It it's a, a terrible chow. chow. Yeah, that's a 25%. No way. Bro, Donald Trump there, bro. He was He's frying your shit there every time. <laughs> Wow. Nah, that's just not a gun for you to take. But the point was, there wasn't much time there, so I know why you did it. it was, the point was just, that hill was such a bad hill for you guys. You gave them so much time there. Back into P1, see what we can do, okay? Let's go through. Okay, got the sub back out. That's fine. And you told me you're not a sub player. I think you're clickbaiting me, because you're no, frying no, no. with a sub. I recall. No, no, no. I recall you saying you're not a sub player. Most of your kills have been with a sub. You mean, look at you. You're fucking piecing with a sub. 
I'm okay with you taking the air. All right, this is this hill's fine, man. No problem with this hill. Now, rotation. Where are they coming from? We spawn here. They're going to be tunnel and P2. What's the play? How are we going to break it? I don't mind you going through tunnel here, but how are you going to break this SC? The only problem I have is I only like tunnel if you're solo pinching and they have map control, your team have map control, okay? So let me, let me paint the picture for you. Let me tell you when tunnel is a good play. And tell me if you agree or disagree. Do you remember at the start of the game when your team was like this? Do you remember when you had two people like this and you guys were kind of trapped in this line? Do you remember yeah. that? That is when tunnel's a good play. When you're blue, if your team has P5 control, tunnel is an excellent play because all the attention will be on P5, okay? Very, very important. If your team have P5 control, this is a phenomenal play. If your team are not set up, like right now, your team are not set up, really. Your team's kind of like this. This isn't a good play because they are set up. When they're set up, they're going to have somebody watching Tunnel most of the time, a good team. So the problem you have now is you're approaching Tunnel with the potential of him out the window. Let's see what happens there. Now, because you snuck through, for me, is more a terrible play from your opponents. <clears throat> that is more a terrible play than a good play from you, in my opinion. I don't know if you agree or not. That is just yeah. more your opponent choking. That isn't an excellent play from you. That is more, no, my opponent's an idiot. You did all you needed to do, that's fine. But that's more your opponent choking. You go through, you get in the hill, fair enough. But my point there was, you know what? I don't see a world where against Crimson team, you should be able to just walk through tunnel and get in the hill, okay? But it ended up happening is what it is. Stun and aid. You gotta stop these guys. They're on P5, you gotta stun and aid. There's two people in the hill right now. As a good solo player, you need to be thinking, right, my teammates on the hill, we don't want two people here. I was here first. Does it matter? Not at all. The amount of people I've, I've spoke to and they said, oh, but I was in the hill first. So I don't care. I don't give a shit who was in the hill first. The opponent doesn't give a fuck who's in the hill. You shouldn't either. The point is, do you want two people in the hill? Absolutely not. You should let your, your, you should let your teammates sit here and move right now. Okay? Watch a different angle. Right now, I'm like, okay, shit. No one's got garage right now. No one's got garage. If I'm you, I'm going downstairs. I'm watching garage. I bet you they push you from garage here. There you go, you get garage. Again, just a timing thing. You got garage there, perfect. If they snuck through, that would have been on you, but you got good timing there. Stun and aid, bro. You know he's in garage. Spam those equipments, okay? So what I said was actually true. So what you saw here was actually true. So you see there's a guy garage, right? Yeah. What we didn't see, it was a guy that snuck on through. So the guy that snuck on through, we didn't see him, but he snuck on earlier. And that's the guy in the right here who ends up killing your teammate. So it's like a domino effect. So let's show it. Let's see where he comes from. So that guy actually comes from that guy right there. He came through garage before and he killed your teammate. The reason why is because you guys are too collapsed on the hill. Okay. So I think you get away with this one, but I think it was a little bit risky in my opinion. Good gun skill though. You kind of, I mean, you, you were shooting well here, man. You were shooting well. It was just one of those where I think the setup wasn't that great. What do you think oh, about yeah, that? Yeah. Like, I don't yeah, think the team setup like wasn't great. Yeah. yeah. I just think you guys, like you fry them individually. I don't think the setup was well. Like, you're, bro, you're fucking beaming right now. You're shooting really well. But again, it's pissing me off you're not using equipment. It's just, like, the fact that you didn't use one piece of equipment that whole round, it annoyed me. Again, ego chow right there. We don't need, bro, you got 10 seconds left there. He's challenging you. Let him have it, man. That's fine. Just go prone. You don't need to challenge him, okay? Yeah, but after that dumpster shot, like, I was feeling hot there. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. That's why I challenged that. Fair enough. I'll give it to you. Team it to the right. You know they're gonna be top middle right now. You're going through again. Just about okay. What do we do here? The guy's on top of you. You're probably dead here, to be honest. Yeah. Now you're spawning out. Okay. What do we do? Now one thing I want to say uh, is when you spawned here, they're all new. You made a big mistake here, and I wanted to. I actually want to see if you notice it. Right now we're in a scenario where you have apartments. Okay, what did we say earlier? How do you want to break this hill? We want to have top apartments and we want to have top middle, right? Yeah. I don't think you going, where the fuck's the map? I don't think you going through garage is a good play at all. I think it's a terrible play because you're pushing out. If they have somebody pushing through, you're going to ba basically, this is the scenario, okay? You have, you're the blue team right now. You have somebody here. Let's make you red because it's easier. You have somebody here. 
You have somebody here. Where are your teammates? They're behind you. You have somebody around there, okay? And somebody that just died. He will spawn there. Right now, the blue team are going to be on the hill. Now, I think this number four, if that was you, where would you go? I'm pushing back apartments, okay? Remember I said earlier, I love apartments, okay? So I'm going back apartments. The problem you have now is you going there. What do you think is happening? You're giving them spawns. Think about it. Look what you're doing right there. Just from that one gunfight, you're giving them spawns. And this is exactly what happened. Look at this. Look where your teammate spawns. He spawns there because of you right there. Yeah. Yeah? Your teammate died. So the last guy died. Because you pushed out there, I bet you this guy pushed apartments. These guys were already set up in the hill, wherever they were. So they actually, this is their setup. They had somebody top middle. They had somebody sitting there. I'm going to assume somebody there, right? We don't know. We're just going to assume. Your teammate dies. Now, right now, if you look at the minimap, if you were there, where do you think he spawns? Number two. Probably back P4. Or... Probably back P4, right? Probably. Because you pushed up there, the game's a bit weird. I don't know exactly. This is one of those weird ones, but you basically pushed all the way here. And he spawned all the way there. So that was just like, oh shit, this wasn't a good play from you. Okay? And even the way you're breaking the hill, you're trying to break through garage. Now, realistically, look at this scenario. Now, I know you didn't know they were there, but if you think about the setup, you have no one helping you right now. This is a terrible push. Terrible push. Because now, look, you guys are coming through here. This is just such a hard push. Like, you have no leverage right now. They're going to be on top. They're going to be on that side. There's nowhere to go through. Now you're like, fuck, the guy's shooting me. You end up dying. Just a really bad play, okay? And now look, now you end up spawning out. So in my opinion, when you were standing there, you should have just went through apartments and went through this area like you did last time. Remember the first time and you guys broke it and went through top middle? That's how you should have broke it, okay? Again, small detail, massive, massive, massive effect. Now your team is breaking the hill by themselves. Gonna go through. This guy on top here, you see him? Yes, you see him on your left. I don't think you saw him, but he was on your left no, there. I didn't. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's one of them ones. 20 seconds left. Okay, perfect. Let's go through. Now, let's see what you do. I want you to have back apartments there. Two issues. So, one, you trusted your teammate to go top. God step. I'm okay with that. I understand why you did it. I just... Oh, I don't know, man. I just... It's one of those ones where I just... I'm not a fan of the child, man. I'm just not a fan of it. I think he was a good player, and I think he absolutely finessed you. Like, I think he absolutely played you there. He baited you in. He finessed you, and he got the kill. And now you're going to spawn back P2. I just don't think it was a good play from you. I would rather you there go back apartments and just, again, prioritize the spawns. Now, there's different ways of playing it, for sure. I just think this is way too risky for me. Now, again, if you chucked a stun on the wall, you made him one shot, and then you got the kill, yeah, cool. But the what you were relying on is you were relying on him not to check this. That's, that's all you were relying on. You were relying on him not to read this. That was a great read from him. Absolutely fried you, and now look where you spawn. Other side. You guys lose the hill. Now, if I could say, if you could teleport anywhere in the map, where would you go? I would go back stairs right here, okay? Yeah. You would have been there if you didn't kind of go for that chow. And now look, they're just pushing you back. You're spawning back here again. And I want to show you a different POV. Remember what I said to you earlier when you spawned here? Look at this. Your gun is up. Your gun is up. Your gun is up. Your gun is down now. He kills you. How do they kill you there? Because they caught you in a sprint. Do you remember the first time I told you when you were in garage? Do you remember when you were in garage and I said this wasn't a good play? Yeah. Why? Because the opponent, let's say the opponent's here, right? They're going to be sprinting, sprinting. When they're here, they're going to be ready for a gunfight. Exactly what I said to you is what you did. Look at this. You were sprinting, sprinting. You weren't ready for the gunfight. They killed you. Imagine if this player there was in the window. You have even less chance of winning that. Look at this. If that player was in the window right there with an AR, I don't give you 1% chance of winning that. You see what I mean? Yeah. The plays that you're making is what they do as well. So just think very similarly. So just going back to the old point, I thought it was a good example to show you because you were doing it. You know the garages are spawned. If you're there right now, if you're someone in apartments, you're not letting them through. So that's a great play. So now you spawn back again. You spawn top middle. What are you going to do? You're going to jump down again. If you were top apartments, you, you'd probably kill yourself. Would you agree? Like if you were top yeah. apartments right now, I think you fry yourself. So same thing. That player just didn't understand. He didn't read the scenario. You go through. 35 seconds left. You're going to push through the front here. This is fine. I'm okay with this. Maybe get Renetti out. Okay. No problem. 20 seconds left. You've given them spawns. That's the only problem. Now that they've got the new hill, they've got the spawns, okay? Let's see how you break this one. Stand by. We got new. And I've... <sighs>
it's hard to say. It's it's all hindsight, but it's just one of those where I would say, kind of go with your teammates here. If it was earlier, I like what you're doing. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, but is your thought process now, what I can I sneak do? on by and I could try to like pinch them here? Um, I wanted to get top ticket and I figured I could get yeah. someone to, to get them out of hell. The problem that you have is you're going up against good players and I'm very happy with this because in this VOD review, when I go, when I'm coaching like golds and silvers, their enemies aren't punishing them. So they're making mistakes and they're not being punished. What you're going up against a good lobby. They're punishing you for your mistakes. We got new and I'm right now, long. they're set up and tickets. They have somebody watching tickets. It's as simple as that. You push through, somebody's watching tickets. It's literally as simple as that. They spawn top middle, they're watching tickets. And now look, you're going to spawn all the way out again. You guys are going one by one. It's very rough. You guys are going one by one, okay? You're going tunnel. This is fine. But guess what? He's there. Do you remember what I told you earlier? When you're pinching tunnel, it only works if you have P5 control. Remember when I said that? Yeah. It's the exact same thing. You really, really, really are kind of throwing your life away if you're pushing tunnel when someone's in the window. It's such a difficult gunfight. So it's right now, same scenario. And just to give you another side of the coin, do you remember when you... That Moon needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> do, you you. Yeah. do you remember when you were... Um, when you died garage last time and I told you if you were top P2, what a play that would have been? This is why. that What he's doing now is what you should have done last hill. It's kind of unbreakable. It's actually kind of unbreakable. Because look where you spawn. You spawn back tickets. They get you in a spawn trap. Same thing. Now, you've reacted and learned from last time. So I like this from you. I'm okay with this. This is good from you. But again, the guy's top. What does this show you? This shows me how good of a power position top P2 is, right? Does that show you the same thing? You can see yeah. you can't break it. Now, what that tells me is last time when you um, went with a sub and pushed through this way, this just proves that that would have been a better play. You literally are seeing it from the other POV. It's such a hard break. So what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that hill back then, you gave them 30, 40 seconds. I'm not blaming you, by the way. I think you played well, but that hill could have won you this game if we flip the script. But you see my point there? It's just about this hill so hard to break, you need to set up. It's one of those money hills. Going through, again, you've got your equipment constantly. You're not using your equipment. So you're not letting them have the trophy system, okay? Five seconds left, you're in the new hill. This is fine. Let's see what you do here. Good stuff. You go through the guys on the hill. Great centering, good kill. They're going to be in your right there. They're going to be in your left there. So your teammates got the jump up. Right now, you just got to watch your left. You're close left there. Oh, oh, this is getting uh, anyway, mixy. Okay. Go watch your left there. You got pre fire your left there. Yeah. Please say you win this. I really want you to win this. Don't troll, please. Okay, fair enough. You win it. Fair enough. Okay. I'm happy with that. <laughs> yeah, Look. Good pause. Good pause. Don't, yeah. don't go any further. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Overall, you played well. Moo, I want Moo to watch this video. Moo, you are terrible. 12 kills and you are talking your ass off, Moo. What is happening, Moo? This guy, bro, needs to relax himself. Anyways. 26 kills. Now, you went up against diamonds mainly. Your team had the disadvantage. You played well. I think if they had an iridescent on the team, you would have struggled purely because of some of the rotations you were making. I think they were punishing you a lot, okay? You basically went neutral in that game, and it was a really, it was a really, really good game to break down. But overall, I think there was a few things where if you lost that game, you'd be kicking yourself because I think you could have won it based on just a few tiny decisions. And that is the difference between a diamond and a crimson and an iridescent and a top 250 and a pro. Making the decisions at a faster rate. The mechanics is a different issue, but making the decision at a faster rate is a difference, okay? Yeah. Equipment, you 1 million percent need to use more. You're on the same level as me in diamond. I use my equipment every life. I didn't see you use it enough, Okay. The reason why it's so important is because you wear down their trophies. You make it easier for your team to make pushes. You have to be using your equipment. But overall, great gameplay, great mechanics, really good stuff. John, pleasure working with you, YouTube. Show some love to the legend in the chat. Make sure to show him some love for letting us show his gameplay. Absolute legend. Catch you guys for another video tomorrow. Peace.